from Rome, Italy. Today is going to be a work day because <laughs> I walked for like five or six hours yesterday. I was out from like 9.30 to 5 or something and my body feels like I ran a marathon. <laughs> it's good that I got exercise, it's really good. But I'm going to need like at least a full day to recover, which is fine because I have a ton of work to do. So, yeah. Let's get into the day. The guests all come from various backgrounds and help get an overall feel of how people find success in different paths. I hope you can hear me. I'm on my way to go get some pizza and maybe gelato too because I've been working for a few hours and I'm hungry and I wanted to have a break, so. That pizza was to die for. So good. And it cost five euros. Five euros. So they're gonna be seeing a lot of me <laughs> in the next two weeks because that place is a seven minute walk from my place. And it's five euros. Did I say five euros? <laughs> So good guys, so good. That's the first pizza I've had since being here. Boy, was I missing out. <laughs> Super excited now. Back to work for me. Okay, in case you're actually coming to Rome, I need to let you know what the place is called. It's called Pinsere, P-I-N-S-E-R-E, -E, and the pizza was five euros. Um, all the pizzas were around that price or even lower and you choose from the selection at the, as there they throw it in the oven right there and cook it you can either eat it there or take it to go same price for both I chose to eat it there because it's like the experience of it even though the experience isn't that exciting because it's just you stand at like a bar table thing <laughs> drink it in like a sip and then you leave. It's very interesting, totally different than Austria. One interesting thing though is I don't know if I've seen many women do that. I feel like I've only seen men at those bars when I've been there. And it's obviously it's also really crowded, especially when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Here's my random thought of the day. For some reason, it is 60 degrees outside, and when I'm outside, it's perfect weather, it's great. But inside of this room, I feel like it's zero degrees. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm so cold. Um, last night, my solution was to drink wine. And that worked. I warmed up. So I think I might have to resort to that strategy now. Which is fine because it's right there. So I guess I'm gonna drink some wine now as well, but I'm working hard. I'm so cold. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't focus because I'm so 
freaking cold. Um, I'm actually gonna put like three pairs of pants. Like I'm gonna double up on all my clothes and see if that helps. <laughs> okay, I now have two hoods, two shirts, plus a sweater, two pairs of pants, two pairs of socks. So let's see if that does anything. I know you people at, <laughs> back in Chicago, my hometown, are probably feeling like, girl, please, you understand that it's like 32 or like 30 here, and you're complaining in 60 degree weather. I know, I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain it, but it's freezing inside of here. It's like, this room is a freezer. It's totally inexplainable. Good morning from Rome. It is a bright and sunny Thursday today and I'm on my way to a co-working space. I'll let you know what it's called if it's good. <laughs> so it is 50 degrees here in Rome. I was just walking in a not so great area but I've found my way out of it. Thank goodness. Luckily it's like 10 o'clock or something. So it's okay. And there were other women walking alone, so that's always a good sign to look out for. Um, anywho, I think I'm getting pretty close. I have not had coffee yet. I've been working for almost four hours now, getting tired, getting ready for a break soon, but a little bit more work. Update. It's 8.30. I think my laundry is finally done. It takes like a million hours here. And I am going to stop working now because I'm exhausted. It's 8.30. I already said that. <laughs> uh, listening to the podcast or watching the YouTube video of first one out chapter two here uh, with the Comet Tribe. And so up first, we're going to talk about Julie... guys welcome to Thursday it is around two one or two now I've been working for a few hours I completed like one more video but I have to go and I'm gonna go take a break and get pizza again that you saw in the video the other day and then I'm gonna go get some groceries because I'm running out of food I've just realized like how far behind I am in work this week, even though I've been working a lot, but I have like a ton, ton of stuff to still do, so it's like really head in the grind for the next two days, so, whew. Okay, I got my pizza, I went grocery shopping. It's kind of fun because I'm like a regular already because they were acting, they definitely remembered me, immediately switched to English and just were a little bit nicer than before. 
Um, I was craving a Coke, so at the grocery store I got a Coke. But I must say it tastes completely different. That means it probably doesn't have cancer in it. <laughs> Back to work for me for a long, long time. Oh my God, you guys. Welcome to Saturday in Rome. And do I have a story for you? Today I went out to a cafe to work, same cafe I've been to two other times already. And I saw a YouTuber. I saw a fellow travel vlogger. Her name is Zoe Ariel. And she sat down at a ta the table right next to me. And I'm thinking, this girl looks really familiar. Like, really, really familiar. And she sat down, was working, and I was like, hmm, she looks familiar, but I don't know her name. Um, and I, like, looked through my Instagram feverishly and my YouTube, and I found her. And I was like, holy balls. <laughs> I was, like, instantly shaking from nerves. Like, I was so scared for some reason. Um, I wanted to say hello to her because I've always like dreamed of running into a YouTuber <laughs> that I follow in real life. And I wanted to say hi to her, but I was so, so scared, like literally shaking in my bones, like anxiety, fear. I forced myself to do it. <laughs> And I did, and I'm really proud of myself because, like, the amount of fear I was experiencing was crazy. And I was literally shaking afterwards for, I'm still shaking, still shaking from, like, the excitement and nerves of it. She was very, very sweet. She kept asking me about, like, who I was and where I was from and what I was doing. And I have no idea what I said. I think I explained what I was doing, but I was, I, like, blacked out. I think just the idea of, of meeting someone who's living the life, like my dream life, the life that I'm now trying to live, shocked me, like to my core. So it was really exciting. And that's my Thursday now. I'm going to show you what I bought from this little, um, it's a Danish, um, like discount dollar store type of place and I stopped there on the way home and I got a couple things I need I'll show you for funsies since there's no content from today so I got a toothbrush <laughs> with a cover on it because I dropped my other cover in the toilet the other day Luckily, I didn't drop my toothbrush in, just the cover. But still, <laughs> I bought a notebook. It's just a black notebook. It's got rainbow colors on it, and it's got lines. Regular notebook, it's very light. I have almost completed writing in the journal I've been writing in, which is really exciting because I wasn't writing a lot. So to be back to writing, and to have filled up like the whole freaking journal. How many times do you actually fill up a journal? For me, I like don't, I never do, because I had so many journals and I would write in different ones all the time and I would never complete one. So it feels really good to have done that. That's why I bought this. I bought these napkins, which how cute is this? I love space and it's, they're really cute. I bought these because for some reason they don't use napkins here. Like there's no, paper towels or napkins anywhere to be found. <laughs> and then I bought this, which is a hanging toiletries bag. So you put your toiletries in, it's got a zipper pouch right here. Sorry, zipper pouch right there. Just some slots. And then it's got this part up there plastic part. Oops, it was already open. 
and it's got a thing for you to hang it in the bathroom. Very, very convenient, especially in dirty places. But um, I'm going to try putting my toiletries in here. It was only one euro. One euro for this thing, and I was like looking at buying them before I left. But they were like, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Like, obviously, it's cheaply made, but who cares? Okay, so that's what I got. Next on the agenda, I went to a pasta place that I had read about online. I wasn't going to go today, but I happened to stumble upon it. So I got pasta from there, and it's four euros for everything. So I chose the carbonara. They make the pasta homemade there. This is what it looks like. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. It's very good. It's very salty, which I'm all about. Love salt. You can tell that the pasta is homemade because it has. I don't know how to explain it, but you can just tell that it's homemade, because it's good. It's very light. Like, you can tell it's just flour, water, and salt, or whatever pasta is made of. This is really, really, really good. Good morning from Rome. Today's Monday, it's around 9.30 and I'm on my way to uh, the Anti-Cafe Roma, the co-working space. store and I got some soup that you heat in the microwave and I'm super excited because it looks really good. It's a huge bowl of soup and it's pasta visual. Pasta visual I don't know. So let's see. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. This is, you know, a microwavable soup. It almost tastes like restaurant quality. <laughs> mm. I'd really like to add some hot sauce to it, but I don't have any. <laughs> Anyways, I've worked for like four and a half hours at the co-working space. And then I walked back home, stopped at the grocery store, and took a new route. I tend to take a different route every day. Not that, I mean, I go in different places every day, but 
this co-working space I've been to before, as you saw. And I tried to print my boarding pass for my plane, my flight to Portugal. It's not until the 27th and it is the 18th right now, I believe. But um, printer at the co-working space didn't work, which is irritating, but hopefully it'll work sometime in the next week because I will be back there. Again, the co-working space is called Anti-Cafe Roma and it's four euros for the first hour and three euros for every hour after that. So if you stay for more than four hours, it's 16 euros for the whole day. So if you stay for more than four hours, you automatically pay the 16 and you can stay for as long as you want. I stayed for almost five hours today, I think. From like 10.30 to 4. And I was like running home because I try to get home before the sun sets. I can tell you like, I don't know if it's just me, but when the sun starts to go down in Rome, like I've, I haven't been outside when it's starting to go down, but not when it's actually dark. I wouldn't want to be out by myself. Like 100% no. Um, I am a little bit overcautious, so... I don't know, but yeah. And here I've got like an hour of work left to do. I have a video that I'm almost done with and I'll finish that. And I did like really good money wise today. So that is excellent because the last two weeks I was a little bit behind my goal. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do that work. I'm going to watch something like Game of Thrones or Friends, I'll, let you, I'll show you what it is when I watch that. And then I'll probably Skype with Gary because Gary and I have been Skyping every night. Um, yeah, that's it. See you later. Good morning. Happy Tuesday from Rome. Um, I am off to go to a cafe. This week I'm alternating co-working space cafe every day because I don't like this room. I want to get out. So the plan is to go right there until like 3 or 4. It's around 10 right now. And then hopefully go check out a new area called Trastevere. I've been planning on seeing like every day, but I just haven't ended up going. So we'll see. And then head back home. So let's go. around 4 30 right now and I am very tired from walking a million hours um I don't know what time I left I think I was walking for like two hours or something I just ate dinner I forgot to show you it was just a ham sandwich uh it was really really good though 